in this presentation we are going to study something very important called bcd adder where bcd stands for your binary coded decimal now we are having two numbers a and b and uh, both a and b are four bit numbers and uh, one way to represent a four bit number is to put a cut on the arrow or you can have a four different arrows going in the header and we will write here 0 to 3 representing that it is a 4 bit number having a min term a0 and max term a3 similarly b03 okay and uh, the one important thing you need to notice here is that both a and b are from 0 to 9 okay both a and b are from 0 to 9 why 0 to 9 because we are adding the decimal and decimal is from 0 to 9 okay so let's see what will be the output of the addition so the output of the addition will vary from 0 to 18 why 0 to 18 because a will have the minimum value of 0 similarly b will have the minimum value of 0 and when we add 0 with 0 we are going to get 0 similarly the maximum value that a can attain is 9 similarly b can also have the maximum value of 9 and 9 plus 9 is your 18 very simple and uh, remember one thing I am not considering the carry from the previous sum in some books they consider the carry from the previous sum but in this to make it simple and also it will not make a great change in the output so we are not considering the carry from the previous sum if I consider the carry from the previous sum then the sum will be 0 to 19 okay because if a is 9 b is 9 and the carry from the previous sum is 1 then adding 9 with 9 and then 1 gives you 19 okay so this is what we want to do but when you add a and b you will get the result the sum in the binary form so we call it as the binary sum it is not bcd sum it will be the binary sum so we want the output to be in the bcd form and uh, this is used in your clock in your watches digital watches the output is shown in the bcd form so let's see what we can do to convert the binary sum to the bcd sum and this is all for the bcd adder we just want the logic which is used to convert the binary sum to the bcd sum and uh, once we are having it we will implement it and it is all that we need to do in the bcd adder so let's move to this table that i made already in this as i have already told you that the output will vary from 0 to 18 so you can see that the decimal number here 0 to 18 okay it is 19 actually i just wrote it down to tell you that yeah this is also possible when we consider the carry from the previous sum okay so at the next of it we are having the binary sum and then we are having the bcd sum so one important thing that you can see is that from 0 to 9 the binary sum is equal to your bcd sum so there is no need to do any manipulations and the sum will be shown as it is so this is one thing that we have discovered from this table now the next thing is that when the number is from 10 to 19 okay and in our case from 10 to 18 the binary sum is not same as the bcd sum okay because 10 is represented in a binary as 1010 whereas in case of bcd it is represented as 1 and then followed by four zeros why it is like that because if i say 1 5 it is the decimal number and I want to represent it in BCD then I will take this first number and write it in binary and in binary 1 is written as 0001 0, 0, 0, 1. similarly I will take 5 and write it in binary and in the 5 is written as 0 1 0 1 okay whereas 15 in binary is directly written as 1 1 1 1 so in no way these two things are same so we want to convert this thing to this one and we want the logic for it so let's search for our logic 
at this point of time you might be thinking that what if we are having the logic how we are going to convert the binary sum to the bcd sum then i believe you are following my lectures and in one of my lectures when we were studying the bcd numbers i told you that whenever the number the sum is greater than the 9 or whenever there is a carry you have to add 6 0 1 1 6 it is the binary representation of the number 6 and once you are done with the addition the output will be in the bcd very simple so this is what we have to do we have to add 6 this is your 6 and uh, we will add 6 when and when is our question when we are going to add 6 that is what we have to find from this table so you can see that this is your c the output carry let me write it down at this point this is your s0 star i'm writing the same thing that i have written here but as my board is not that big i cannot show you the upper part so let me write it down again s1 star s2 star s3 star and this is your c star fine so you can see that whenever the c star is 1 we need to add the 6 all these cases from 10 to 19 require the addition of 6 to convert the binary to the bcd so we can say one thing that when your c star is equal to 1 or when it is high we will add 6 to the binary sum so this is our first case let me write it down 1 here then we will search for our second case and uh, it is hidden between 12 to 15 we are done for this four cases now we will see from 12 to 15 we can see that the s3 is 1 in case of the numbers when it is from 12 to 15 but when we talk about the sum from 0 to 7 s3 is equal to 0 but in case of 8 and 9 s3 is 1 so how we are going to distinguish from 8 and 9 and from 12 to 15 you can see one thing that the s2 and s1 are either 1 or 0 in all this combinations from 12 to 15 so we can say that the next case is when s3 star is 1 definitely it should be 1 and uh, at the same time we are having your s2 star or s1 star equal to 1 so uh, i think it's very clear to you that we can get this thing by this equation now let's move to the other case when i'm having the sum 10 or 11 so again their s3 is 1 which is not in case from 0 to 7 but in case of 8 and 9 the s3 is 1 so how we are going to distinguish 10 and 11 from 8 and 9 you can see one thing that s1 is always 1 when it is 10 or 11 but in case of 8 and 9 s1 is equal to 0 so i can write the third case as s3 star and s1 star because s1 is 1 when it is 10 11 and it is 0 when it is 8 9 so these are our three cases in which we have to add 6 okay to our binary sum to obtain the bcd sum so let's do some simplifications because there is possibility of the simplification in this results so it is c star or s3 star and s2 star or s1 star okay and the third case is your s3 star and s1 star let's open it down and let's see what we are having c star or s3 star and s2 star or s3 star and s1 star and you can see that again we are having s3 star and s1 star and you very well know that a or a is equal to a so i can remove this thing by a single s3 star s1 star so this is all we need to convert the binary sum to the bcd sum now it's time to implement it so just remember this thing 
we are moving to our implementation part it's not that easy but let's see how we can do it for the addition of number a and b we require a 4 bit adder so this is our 4 bit adder okay and uh, in this the inputs are a and b this is your a from 0 to 3 this is your b from 0 to 3 okay and uh, the outputs are the sum and the sum are s0 star s1 star s2 star s3 star fine and from here we are getting our c star the output carry now after this if the c star s3 star s2 star s1 star and s0 star is from 0 to 9 okay we don't require to add 6 in it so it will go as it is and this is our answer so we need to implement some logic here that will pass the sum as it is when it is 0 to 9 and it will add 6 when it is greater than 9 it means 10 to 19 and we will implement this logic for that purpose so let's do it this is the OR operation so I will make a OR gate here this is our OR gate I am having C star going inside so this is your C star as one of the input to this 3 input OR gate then I am having two AND gates this is our first AND gate this is our second AND gate and uh, the input to this first AND gate is your S3 star S2 star so let's do it this is your S3 S2 S1 star S0 star so the S3 will go as one of the input and then S2 star will go as the second input similarly our third AND gate is having S3 star as one input and S1 star as the other input and the output of this two AND gate will go to this OR gate fine so whenever any of this the at this point at this point and at this point will get a high signal the OR gate will have a 1 here okay so we have to add 6 to this S3 S2 S1 S0 and star in all of that so let's do it and uh, as you are going to add a 4 bit number to a 4 bit number we need a 4 bit adder again so let's make a 4 bit adder again this is our second 4 bit adder which is used when the output is greater than 9 ok and the outputs are S3 S2 S1 S0 these outputs are your binary sum and these outputs are your BCD sum okay because we are adding 6 here now let's see how we can add 6 take this output here and then give it like this and make this LSB 0 and MSB 0 always okay and uh, whenever the output is 1 it will make 0 1 1 0 and 0 1 1 0 is what your 6 and uh, this is our second number that we want to add and our first number is s3 star s2 star s1 star s0 star so these are the 4 bit of our first number to this adder and this 0 1 1 0 in case when the output is 1 and when it is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 is our second number that we want to add. So in this way, we are completed our 4 bit BCD adder and also this carry will come here. This is your carry C. So let's see its operation again. When A is from 0 to 9, B is from 0 to 9 and when we add and the number is greater than 9, then uh, it is possible that any of these three this one this one this one will get high and the output at this point will become one when this is one it will go here and make this 
this one so we are having 0 1 1 0 which is 6 and uh, we already know that we have to add 6 when the output is greater than 9 so this 6 is added to whatever value you are having here from the first adder and after adding it we are having a BCD number so in this way uh, BCD adder works I hope you understand it and uh, the only important thing is to get this logic and I have explained you how to get this logic it is a very simple thing after the explanation so so see you in the next presentation